Okay, in this video we're going to start learning about variables in the Go programming language. So let's get started. There are two ways of creating variables in Go. You, the first way is called the idiomatic way and it's simply typing in var, the name of the variable and then the data type. And that's really it. You can have it initialized, so when I mean initialized, I mean set it equal to something the first time, or you could just have var um, another variable and then the data type int, and you can just have it like that. So you've created it, but you haven't given it any value yet. Okay, the other way of doing it which is probably the most common way and the way you're going to use it the most is by typing the variable name followed by a colon an equal sign and the, val the value of the variable and what's good about this way is that it's much faster than writing all of this and it detects the data type so here it already detects this variable is going to be an integer because we've passed in a number while here we have to declare it okay and variables are called like this because they can vary you can come down here for example and then later change them to another value so here we're changing the my age uh, variable from 21 to 37 and my variable from 34 to 765. <clears throat> so if you run this, so go run um, 01, you should see that we printed out my age over here and the value of my age, my variable, and here are the modified variables. So you can see they've actually modified, they've varied. Okay, um, what do we do? What happens? when we create a variable like this so um, something int what happens when we do this what value does it have because we've created it but we haven't initialized it which is giving it a value well what this is going to do is set it equal to a default value which is called the zero value and each data type has a zero value for example, integers and floats and other numeric data types will automatically set this to zero. Booleans, which are true or false values, will automatically set this expression to false. And then strings, which are text, will set this expression to empty text. So two um, quotation marks with nothing inside them. That's the zero value of each data type. There are more data types but I'm not going to go um, more specifically into each one of them. Okay, final thing I'm going to cover in this video is multiple declaration of variables. This is pretty much creating many variables at the same time. So instead of having this, what we could have simply done is on the same line, my age, my variable, variable, colon, equals. So this is using the shorthand um, declaration. And then each value separated by the comma. So if the first variable separated by the comma was my age, then the value you want to give it to, for example, 36. Then on the other side of the comma, um, 80, 83. So what this does is respectively set each variable to the position um, which follows the declaration. So we can do this with multiple variables. You can create another one. We'll set it equal to 75 and it's just going to set this to this. So that's multiple declaration. There are also other ways to perform multiple declaration but this is the one I'm going to go into for now. And that's pretty much all you need to know about variables for now. We'll learn more 
later on in this playlist. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.